Hey guys, Zaphonix here, and today we're going to take a look at Windows 8. We're going to take a look at um, the start screen as well as the desktop, and basically some programs within the start screen and desktop. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, before we actually do jump right into it, let me just advise you that of two things. One, this is the developer's preview, but it's not the full version of Windows 8. Let me also advise you that this is actually running under a virtual machine, so it will not be running at full power. Just to let you know that. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. Now as you see here, this is the start screen. I can go ahead and um, navigate through the start screen with the mouse wheel or I can just go ahead and hold the scroll bar at the bottom here. Go left and right as I see fit. Now mind you that also Windows 8 is actually based off of... Um, how to put it, it's like basically for tablets as well as PCs. You know, or touch PCs for that matter. So just to let you know... Um, so you'll see basically some things where you can use the mouse, but you can also use the, um, you know, your touchpad or whatever it is. So let's go ahead into it right now. Now, first of all, you'll see a couple of things that are actually moving as we speak. Those are actually called live tiles. Now, if you do have or very have been interested in the Windows Phone 7, then you'll already know what to expect with this. Basically, depending on what it's hooked up to and what it's designed for, it'll actually go ahead and give you either um, live information multiple information or just um, do multiple things here for example the first one here is a program called socialite basically what it'll do is it'll connect to a social network in this case my facebook account and basically show you the pictures on um, you know facebook basically over here at the bottom here is actually a news feed um, this particular news feed is from steam so just to kind of give you guys a, a look at what it is here and as you see there it's actually constantly um, showing you what the news is. And then of course on upper right here you have weather. Um, this basically gives me a, a look uh, at a glance on what the weather is all about. Um, well in Anaheim, California right now. I didn't feel like setting it to, um, to where I'm at right now. I just pretty much wanted to go ahead and let you guys see how it looks. So basically that's pretty much what it is. Now to be honest with you I kind of expect this one to be modified soon. Um, but whatever is whatever. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some apps here. Now, I think weather would be a good app to take a look at. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the desktop. So we click here, and as you see, bang, the desktop opens up that quick. And the desktop is pretty much what you expect it to be. Um, a pretty much a very Windows 7-ish. Uh, you got your gadgets here, your screen resolutions here, a personalized um personalize this particular thing here. Uh, speaking of which, I just want to let you know that it doesn't look like as of right now you can go ahead and personalize a start screen, but I do expect that to change very soon. So that's pretty much it here too. And you, you can go ahead and click on um, Internet Explorer or you can go ahead and click on uh, Windows Explorer, which by the way, let's take a look at Windows Explorer. As you see, it does look like um, Explorer with the exception of this particular part at the top. This part actually looks a lot different than what we're actually used to. Um, everything that you used to be able to, used to be like a little smaller here, you can pretty much now see it at the top here. It looks very, um, what is it, Word-ish. So, definitely, definitely, definitely a big change in terms of what we're used to. But nonetheless, um, it's both a welcome and at the same time different change. So, pretty much what, how you see it is how it is. Now, one thing about it too is that you can actually hit the Windows button on your uh, keyboard and it'll go right back to the start screen. Hit it again, it'll go back to whatever that you had opened up last. So, what I want to do is I want to open up a Windows 8 particular application. I'll open up two of them, one of which is actually weather. So, let's go ahead and boot up weather here. And you'll see it's gathering latest info. And um, it got it has basically um, you know all the information that you would expect from um, from the particular um, from that area basically. And now of course I can go ahead and right click. And when I right click, I get things down here where I can go ahead and get a summary view, or I can add a city, etc., 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 or you know whatever it is basically. So it actually works out pretty well. Uh, speaking of the right clicking, you would actually do that here as well. Now say I want to right click. If I right click on here, like one of these um tiles at the bottom here I'll get a couple of um, options that I can choose between them now there's not a lot of options here right now but one option that you will get is um, where it says right here smaller so I can go ahead and click on that and as you see it'll make it smaller larger again see works just like that as you see here I'm getting some tweets that are coming in right now 
uh, which actually looks pretty good here, as well as you saw um, that someone actually tweeted me just a couple of minutes ago. So that's kind of nice. You get a couple of things going on there. Uh, let me go ahead and show some other particular things here. Uh, another particular uh, Windows 8 program here is Piano. Now, it pretty much plays as you would expect it to play. Um, pretty much hit the keys, and there you go. So, what is it? <laughs> of course not. But anyway, <laughs> like I said, developer's preview, right? So, hey, it happens. Or maybe it doesn't like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Who knows? Anyway, um, so that's pretty much it with that particular one. Now, let's open up an application that is not Windows 8 Pacific here. Um, I do have Steam installed here, so if you go ahead and click on this particular application, as you see, it'll jump right to the desktop. And then it'll go ahead and boot up in Steam. So... It actually works out pretty well, and I can just go ahead and log into Steam if I wanted to. I won't right now. But, I mean, anything that is not Windows uh, 8 eccentric will go ahead and boot up directly to the desktop here. So basically that means that it will be compatible with all the Windows 7 programs as well as Windows 8 programs. Already looking a hell of a lot better than Lion did. So, that's pretty much it. Um, as a whole for this particular thing. I will go ahead and release a couple more videos here, kind of giving you guys um, in, you know, a uh, look into Windows 8 and letting you know what I think, definitely. Um, just to let you know some other things too, um, there has been, the installation pretty much installs just like Windows 7, so that's fine. Uh, in fact, it looks very similar to Windows 7 too. I know a lot of you have seen um, pictures of that too, but yeah, it actually does. So, that's pretty good and works out pretty well in my opinion. Anyway, that's all I have um, for this one. You guys have a good night. Zeph is out.